her back to the barn and put her on some alfalfa. You got some Belgian foals and some mule foals out here. Is that a Belgian foal there? Uh, it is, yeah. yeah. And there's another one over there in the barn. Yeah, and the rest of them are mules. Both of these are doing pretty good, though. So you're pretty much done with foaling, and now you're breeding? No, we've got, I think there's nine left to go. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're... And they're here? Right, they're here, yeah, they're here. You foal in the barn, then? No, I foal them out in a dry lot over here. We, we take them off of the fescue and dry lot them and put them in a lot where we can watch them real close. and. Then after they foal, we get them up in the barn and keep them in the barn for a couple nights. Just kind of watch the foals and make sure everything's going good. They get plenty of colostrum. We blood test all of them at 24 to, I don't know, 30 hours old, 32 hours, something like that. We blood test every colt, make sure they got the colostrum they needed. And if they don't, we take care of it. So far this year, we've had good luck with that. And then we turn them out on pasture like it's hard for me to make any money selling pigs some people do um i like to finish whatever i um, you sell meat yeah that's right we well we sell to people that do sell meat but okay. we sell to people that are wanting to sell high-end finished, high hogs. finished hogs or uh, high-end finished pork product to restaurants or um, hotels you know things like that we we have a good customer that a lot of this meat goes into Nashville, Tennessee, or the suburbs of Nashville, Tennessee, uh, Franklin, Tennessee, that area. And we'll sell some local hogs too, but um, this this is a really good, high-quality meat hog. These sows right here that you see, these are um, these are F1 sows that are that are out of York, purebred Yorkshire sow, and take a Hampshire boar and cross and make that F1 blue butt. And then we put either a purebred Hampshire boar or a Duroc boar back on them and get a really high meat quality hog. Yeah, there, come on girls. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's a pretty herd. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They won't hurt you, but they will waller you. They're gorgeous. Hey, girls. This is a coming three-year-old. She'll be bred this year. Hey, girl, this is a coming two-year-old. Most of these are coming two. Come here. They just waller you. <laughs> yeah. Come on. This is going to be a pretty nice horse. That's a coming. Come, see, now, see how that horse is more pulling bread. Yeah, yeah. See how yep. she's shorter and thicker and stockier. Right, right. right. See, you know, this horse has got more hitch to her. See right here. Hey. Yeah. That's a coming three-year-old right here. Hey, baby. There's a little colt. Easy, girl. That's a little filly. That should be a replacement horse right there. She's she's bred good. Got some pulling bred in her and, and hitch bred both. And as you can see, the mare does too. Yep. Um, she's leggy and got some, some length to her. Not quite as wide in the head. 